Let's not to see he doesn't still have his moments. The funny spanked him, and he expected the entire plane to show some cuts. <laughs> Less than 20 dollars away from Kate, and he almost caused a riot. <laughs> I also like to think I had a positive influence on Simon. For example, I encourage him to read more. And he has read a couple of books later. They're all good books, but I'll take it right here. But <laughs> we've well, come a long way over the years. In Wales, there have been plenty of disagreements, and he's still got annoying habits of checking on his cutlery screen before he eats a meal, which my mum hated. <laughs> He's genuinely a great dad. In fact, during COVID, when Samuel joined me and Joanne and our family get away, she was not best used around. <laughs> we randomly toured a distillery in Edinburgh in the middle of nowhere. And we met a primary five teacher. And the chances of that seemed insane to us. But what, didn't, what was funny was she wasn't at all surprised to see us there all those years after. She said we'd be lost without each other. That's great. <laughs> and Kate, I'm sure you already know this, but you're marrying into a wonderful family. And then Andy and Margaret, you couldn't possibly ask for anything else. The stuff that they've put up with us to over the years shows that they have the patience of saints. <laughs> I only hope that you have that same patience. <laughs> 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 but on a serious note, if Samuel is half as good a husband as he has been as a friend to me over the years, then you've got one hell of a guy in your corner. And I know that you've got a wonderful life together. And in fact, my six year old son Daniel was at his friend Samuel's party back home today. And I was pretty happy about that because everyone should have Samuel in their life if they can find one. And you did. So I suppose all that's left is to say that this is the last time I'm not doing this. <laughs> and I wish all of you to all happiness in the world. So for the last time, let's raise a glass to my son and my sister. <laughs>